Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the general changes. This is the patch notes that will enter the public test friend. region on November 7th. Thank you, Miroge. Thank you very much. Uh, November 7th, 2016. Right now, this is on the public test region. And it will go live in about one week, around November 15th or so. Yes. Okay, so uh, new Brawl is going to be coming out. I tried this one at BlizzCon and I have a short feelings and review about it on my YouTube already. Suffice to say that it was the most fun Brawl I played so far from the four. Sergeant Hammer, the ARAM and Punisher Arena. This one is better. There's a lot of split fights, top and bottom. You're always doing some kind of value and there is uh, an objective which is much more interesting than just throwing axes and darts at each other. Just throwing weapons at each Great other. There's a real friend. goal for both teams. So that's pretty fun. Uh, tutorial. I'm, I have no doubt that I'm going to learn a lot in the revamped tutorial. This should help me propel me into the Grandmaster. Fearlove, thank you for subbing. New hero Varian is a melee warrior whose trait is similar to Artanis' shield, except its bonus damage. Every time he uh, hits, he reduces his cooldown, and every time it's available, he will do bonus damage. All right. Take a look at his other abilities uh, if you want to. Just pause the video. You can take a look at it yourself. I just want to say about Varian that he seemed very fun to play and pretty strong. Uh, but hopefully I'll have a Varian Rin YouTube gameplay video out soon. Once the PTR becomes available again. Because right now it's not. Let me just try one more time. And no, not yet. Okay, moving on. Greetings, friend. Number of art Thanks changes. Thanks for all the great content and education. Thank you very much, Big Eds. Some shop changes, some sound changes, some UI changes. Important specifically that in auto select, you can now give a favorite role. So you can say, I want to auto select, which may give you bonus XP because it has better queue times. And quick match. Friend. But you can just say, Great Only job Warrior plays. Con Grubby. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I did very much so. I don't know how much you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very, very, very much. Now, if you only had two varies in that. Friend then I may have just beat you by one very, but if you were like tremendously very humongously, then I tip my fedora to you, Brenarius. But let's just suffice to say, I think we both enjoyed it a lot. I didn't sleep much after, and then I took a long haul flight all the way from the United States West Coast to the Netherlands, where I just got back two hours ago. So I'm a little sleepy, but it's so worth it. Um, okay, designing gameplay. So this is actually a pretty important interaction change. Right now, the way it works when stealth gets revealed is that any revealing of stealth deletes the stealth, which means that when Samuro uses his windwalk or his uh, the crit when he comes out of windwalk and someone reveals him, his movement bonus is gone, his damage bonus is gone, and so on. The same for Nova, she loses her movement speed, she loses her um, extra slow from the Q, uh, from the W when you talent into it at level 1. So this is not that nice. You can always buff it again if, or, or nerf it if it's needed. And also with Tyrande Shadowstalk, it gives movement bonus. So now they say instead you'll be revealed for a while, but you can still get the bonus out. So that's a nice buff to Sumero and I'll enjoy it. Now, in the community streams during BlizzCon, they said that Sumero is getting more nerfs coming soon. Probably tomorrow. Uh, they didn't say date, but tomorrow is standard day. So November 8 or 9. Hopefully that will be the most interesting thing that happens on November 8. Uh, or was there something else somewhere in the world? Yeah, some meaning small changes about blind and the uh, bosses. Uh, let's go to the heroes. Alarak is very strong at pro play. He gets a small buff to his lightning search. Uh, so Alarak is already pretty strong at the uh, pro play. So this worries me a little bit. But he's actually not performing that well in uh, by lesser players. 
And it's probably his win rates. I don't think they're too high, so I don't think it's like a huge deal. But there we go. I wonder what the reasoning is because there isn't any. Moving on, Illidan. He's getting massive buffs to auto attack quest, to the battered assault quest, to unbound. I would say this is a big buff. Auto attack, lifesteal buff, and then a nerf to marked for death. Now, if they only did this, it would be insane. Illidan is very good right now. And he's getting all these buffs. Granted, Greetings, to talents that friend. generally don't get used Loved too much. Love your casting at BlizzCon. Great to watch. <laughs> Super happy to have your streams back to less than three. Thank you very much, Gran Cracker. Appreciate it, man. I thank you. Welcome back. You did such an awesome job at BlizzCon, Grubby. Aww. Ten tenths. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Now, if this was all, that would be crazy. But they did nerf his best level 16 talent. Not by too much, though. What is it? What is this? 15% damage nerf? Now, generally, I think level 1 people will still use Immolation, which is good for wave clear and damage while you're blinded. Polymorph, stunt, and so on. That burning rage keeps going on. Whereas this is all auto attack dependent. At level 4, people get friend or foe. So they can queue to allies, which helps with survival. Now, this one can go through walls. But it can also accidentally send you through the enemy gate. If you're trying to proc your W on an enemy tower while pushing. Watch out. And you get a second charge. It's greetings, friend. It's a nice Hi, buff. You, it won't necessarily make him OP. Thank you very much. M6, love you too. Uh, and this one. So actually, combining battered assault with thirsting blade is gonna make him pretty insane. But it will be auto attack based still. Overall, I think these changes are not needed. Their reasoning is that farming minions is fun. And. To give him some other talents and to increase the fun of dancing through opponents. But he kind of already does that. I think it was not needed. And I do think Mark for Death needed a bigger nerf. Or maybe some other adjustments. It's so scary to buff Illidan. But since there's Greetings, many people who can't friend. play him too well. Hey, it's probably okay. How was the trip? Uh, it, was, it was amazing. Thank you for the resub, Super Jake Zoo. Rainer gets some clarity, that's fine. Now this one, this one is exciting. Small nerf on Sundering, that's okay. Damage on Earthquake, yes. Now, I think Earthquake has three pulses. And that damage doesn't seem too big, but that means that it proxies Frostwolf Resilience. Which means if you hit three targets with your Earthquake three times, that's nine procs. That's almost two full heals from Earthquake, whereas before it wouldn't. Very useful. A little bit of bonus damage. It's probably not gonna like, you know, amount to that much damage. Maybe at level 10, this will be what? Uh, what will it be? Greetings, friend. For I think, I, think I can actually calculate I love it. Your casting. Keep up the good work. Like 77 damage or something at level 10 per pulse. It's really not that much. But the fact that it procs Frostwolf is nice. I might be a Thrall Earthquake main now. Uh, I missed a message there. Fear on the castle fly. Loved your casting. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Mega Mache. Thank you very much. But uh, Sundering is the better one right now. So this may not overall help Thrall too much. But I'm going to try Earthquake. And I'll let you know. Zeratul got a rework. Which really surprised me. I guess he had a lot of generic I, talents. You. TFW, you can solo bosses Varian at level 10 with just taking two talents. Holy. Yeah, I guess he has the, the parry. So he can block some of the auto attacks on the boss. Damn, level 10? That's crazy, Keymotes. I want to try it out. But I can't log into the server yet. I keep trying. But thanks for the data. So Zeratul got rid of all his generic talents. Uh, Vorpal Blade went to 1. And now he has a blink reduction and mana reduction talent. They also reduced his mana on blink already. 
They buffed his health. No more regen master block is pretty big deal. And then it's really hard to judge the the rest of his talents. They remove four generics here. They give him more blink charges, so it's gonna be like lots of blinks all the time. Blink, 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 blink. And I don't know that that will make new players really very happy. <laughs> Lots of blinks and then singularity spike can be reactivated to teleport to them. Huh. Okay. Shield. Lifesteal. Removed all the generics. I mean, he had a lot of junk. I used Giant Killer before in quick match against Cho'Gal, but come on. Burning Rage. And what does he get? Cleave, Void Slash, no more Double Ball, no more Stone Skin, Rip. So what this looks like to me, for, for Zeratul, is more damage mobility, less survivability. And then he gets a 50% 3 second slow of Void Prison targets, if he upgrades it. So no longer that thing. Why do they still call it Protective Prison? It's not very protective, is it? I guess you slow the opponent is protective. They should have changed the name. But this is obviously quite powerful. Even if you mess up your VP, if you hit several targets, even if there's no follow up, the targets are still slowed. You still freeze their cooldowns, which is something VP does. At the worst, you make your allies miss their skill shot at the same time as you do VP. But it's quite strong. Of course, I don't think people will actually take this compared to Rewind. Oh, it was renamed? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's Zelnaga's Gift? Oh, wow. That's a better name. But uh, this is really something I cannot give like a comprehensive analysis of without having played it. You get that hero takedown thing up to 40%. It just seems... More risk reward for Zara. I don't know what the net result is. But let's move on. This one seems like a change that where you get kicked out of Symbiote, you won't accidentally immediately put a toxic nest. First of all, that never happened to me. So this is just annoying. Secondly, let's say if it does happen to you, do you really need half a second of block out? Or do you maybe need only 0.2 seconds? That's my opinion. I think 0.2 seconds would be enough to prevent the accidental click. Now, if this is a balance change, I would doubt it because I don't. I don't think it's nice to balance with quality of unlife. Lack of quality of life changes. It's annoying. If it happened to you, okay, then I get it. But then, like less seconds, I think. But okay, we'll see. Uh, possession can now be used on catapult minions. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you take a level 7 talent and you miss wave clear and immortal and punisher and objective damage. But you get maybe as soon as level 15 you lose a keep. You can start stealing catapults. I kind of like it. I still don't think you should take it just because of the level it comes at. Now, if this was a level 13 talent, and you kind of see where it goes. If it's like level 16 talent, but at level 7, how do you know you're going to lose a keep? Maybe this one, not taking Barbie shot, will make you lose a keep and will make you use possession. Then you're a bit of a harbinger of, of bad luck, aren't you? But, okay. This is very good. Making use of the newest technology to do vector targeting. So you don't need to position from the flank anymore to get flankly uh, skeletal mages. I like it. I wonder if it affects the range. I'm assuming the middle point is the cast range. Which means that your furthest skeleton, technically, is further than it otherwise could have been. It's a good change. 
Corazim gets some allies, spirit allies, that can do some kind of effects. This is similar to Varian's kit, where he gets a banner that does damage reduction on his allies, or movement speed increase, or ability power. I think that's a Varian level 16 talent. This is obviously very interesting. These are not interesting. So I generally really applaud the changes. I hope it makes them fun to play. Mm, just kind of going through the changes for the rest. Way of the Hundred Fists is now basic attack, so it will actually proc your trait. Which is something that never really made sense to me. Where that didn't happen. So that's a really good change. I also like this one. Iron Fists now have movement speed increase. Good. It's really hard to stick to someone as Karazim with damage trait and actually feel like you're doing relevant damage. It's a good change. Uh, Leoric uh, has some kind of change that I don't get. And to far away from it, I guess, to get it, they're saying that this is an art change. But it's a... It's a it's a nerf. They say they'll buff him later, but for now he doesn't hit people behind himself. Please retry PTR. Okay, I'll retry PTR. I think if if they know that they're going to later nerf him, I mean buff him, and they know that this is a nerf, even though it's done for a different reason, then why don't they just delay this change? Yeah, it was 270 degrees. Well, the the Samuro change is coming very soon already. Anyway, that was pretty much the end of the PTR re preview. <laughs> Just a few changes. Uh, I always rate it at the end of it. I'll rate it 7.5 out of 10. And need more data too. Greetings, Karzim friend. lost clans. Oops. I didn't read that part. Let me see. Karazim. No more cleanse. And then does he get a new cleanse? At level 16. Cleansing touch. Dashing to an ally makes them cleansed. Oh, that's pretty interesting. 